everybody welcome to day 43 of the lockdown uh, firing day uh, I'm not going to tease you by uh, chatting first we'll go straight into the video of the opening of it a uh, quick look around it and then I've got a few here afterwards that we can uh, have a look a bit more closely at so here we go Seven o'clock in the morning, sneaky peek. Wow. Looks good. Okay, a quick look in the kiln. Um uh, out the light. You can see where the ash has run on here, pooled. It's run all the way down. This has worked because there's a pool of uh, ash in there. It got pretty hot. This is cone 11 bending there. So uh, wood ash in the back. You can see it. It's all run nicely. Teapots have come out okay. There's little sort of pumpkiny pots here are nice. Uh, you can't quite see it now, but where I wedged the uh, Iron into the white clay, that's uh, speckled up a lot. Uh, one of the back wall. Looks alright so far. So, uh, so pretty good so far. Uh, let's get it all out and have a look. Okay, just having a quick look at these. This has come out really nice, I'll show you in the sunshine. These eager vases. Uh, I'll let the sun come up over it a bit in a bit later on and do some videoing because you can't see them very well but um, teapots have come out nice tea bowls are nice little lidded pots have come out nice uh, they've come out well but uh, I'll talk through these in a bit okay let's go through some of these pots now the sunshine's come around here's the uh, the eager vases, you can see where it's run down and pulled all at the bottom. I've had to grind the bottom of that one off, but that's fine. I expected to do that. This one has come nice. It's uh, caught on the wings there quite nicely. There's another one. Another one there. It's all run down. This one's had um, chino put underneath first. And you can see where the, where the ashes where the ashes all melted. So that's quite good. This one here is a moon jar. It's one where I mixed all of the um, the rust particles, wedged it into the clay first and threw it. You can see there where it shows in the clay. This is a um, the fluted tea bowl I showed you before in previous videos. That's worked okay. Oops, that's worked okay. These ones have come out really nicely. This is the one I did where I showed you the rouletting with the black slip underneath. And they're lovely. Really pleased they'll be on Etsy soon all different sort of textures and, and, and colours patterns uh, another fluted one quite subtle greys it's nice these have turned out okay again that's uh, where the wood ashes run just dribble down so they all came out nice. Well, all, nearly all of them came out nicely. Uh, I'll just show you. This is uh, one with the bull rush design on it. So they're nice. Now uh, what else? Two more of these nice little uh, lidded pots. You can see the the, uh, the ashes melted really nice on there. Sort of apple sized. 
And then finally, um, the teapots. You remember me dusting these at the previous, uh, previous uh, video, one of the previous videos. You can see where it's it's all gone glassy and pooled. The reason I threw this this lid here is I knew this would happen. Like a small bowl on the top there, so that's gone nice. Uh, there's one here that's. can see where it's dribbled down which is what I wanted it to do. So all in all a good show. So all in all a good firing I should say. Get in the sun. All in all a good firing really pleased. I'm taking photos of them now and um, hopefully they'll be off to uh, a new home soon. Okay. So that's come off the top now. You can see the little jewels on the edge there. These will break off because they're quite well, they're calcined, aren't they? So they break off. And it's just a question of um, tapping this off. There it is. And you can see where all these jewels have appeared. Where it's all run down and dripped. So I'll soak that in water and all this will soak off. And that's another nice pot. Right, okay. Uh, good results. I've had a look at them since then because that was first thing this morning. Uh, you have to look for them for a little bit just to get, uh, get to grips with them. Um, I'm just going to go through a few of them and pick a couple out that um, sort of follow up some of the previous videos that I've done. Um, I did the, um, the the one where I put the uh, slip on and then used the roulette. This uh, this tool here, if you remember. They, they've, I didn't know how they were going to turn out. They've surprised me. They've come out really, really well. Uh, I'll be making some more of these tomorrow. Now I know that uh, the whole thing works. But you can see how the raised point where the roulette leaves it, a raised point has left it dark through that through that uh, glaze. So that's one. They're all slightly different. That's a really nice one. Quite subtle. But that's really nice. Um, if you remember, I wedged some of the the, the particles of uh, rust into it, into the white clay. Uh, normally it comes out just as a pure white pot, but that's how it comes out when you wedge the clay into wedge, wedge the iron into it. You can see the, the base of it, there's no glaze on that foot ring there. You can see how the iron is burst out of it. So they're lovely. I think um, I'm going to try a few now with a little less, a little less iron in. Let's see if I can get more open speckles just for a, just for a variation. Um, the teapots I dusted, uh, you saw me dusting the ash on a few days ago. Uh, they're out, they're really nice. If you can see there, it's all pooled in the top. Look nice. You can see it's even got the dribble that I was looking for. So they're all right. One of them stuck to the shelf. I've lost a foot ring on one of them, but you know that's the way it is. With with runny ash, there's no no way you don't get a fatalities. Um, these are the eager vases. These have come out nicely. They're all they've all survived. Uh, the wood ash has run nicely. It's dribbled down. It's all come down inside of it. Caught in the well. Um, it's got the shino underneath shiny sheen underneath uh, you need to see them in person really but they are really nice even the hole will look nice you put a flower in that so they, they come out really really nice and if you remember a while ago the one of the first eager ones I did I, I put a load of uh, scrapings out of the the wood fire out of the wood burner well that's how the first ones turned out there's one way another one waiting to go through 
the, uh, the, the rivets have all melted and sunk into it. So that one's really nice. I've had to grind the bottom off because it's stuck to the trivet. But uh, you have to grind off these things. But that looks like it's been in a wood fire for about eight days. Really impressed with that. Uh, so um, all in all, a good, a good firing, a happy firing. Uh, spurs me on to want to make some more. Uh, I'll develop a few of these ideas that have come out now, move them forward even more. Yeah, I can't just keep making the same stuff over and over again. That just you're just making clones of pots then. So there's got to be a progress. There's got to be a movement forward. So uh, I'm all fired up. I'm going to be throwing pots tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> one last one. I forgot this. This is the one that was on the shells. I've washed the shells off. That's the left. That's what's left of the glaze. It still needs washing because it's still a bit dusty. But you can see how it's all pooled to there. A nice pot. Right, that really is. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.